Hey guys, Jordy here, just doing a uh, quick little read over of the uh, Kony 2012 petition blog video kind of thing. Anyway, so I found a quick blog um, about it which basically explains what it is and why it's happening. So why 2012? Why this year it asks? In the last nine years of trying to end the war, the puzzle pieces have not been aligned like they are now. When Obama deployed the advisory troops in October, it was a shock. My physique was stunned. I never knew, I never thought that the government could, could or would actually do it. The fact that they did do it and the advisories are now there makes the end of this war totally possible, but it's very time sensitive. I don't believe that. Um, everyone that's been working on the conflict from Senator Ifo to Resolve to John Pendragast um, know that it has to be 2012 because by the time it turns 2013, the advisor. The advisors would have been there, some might say too long, I don't understand that. But I honestly think this war is long overdue and yeah, it's, come on, come on America. I know you're making good money out of the, uh, the oil taxes, but come on, grow up. What inspired you while creating the film? Well, the film was one, if not the hardest for me to ever make because it was so personal and hard to be objective. What inspired me the most was seeing the purity through the eyes of a four-year-old son or giving him limited information of Joseph Coney and what he does to children. Hearing Gavin say we need to stop him really reinforced the purpose of this film for me. The, the intention of the movie from the very beginning was to make a 20 to 30 minute piece telling the audience exactly what the facts are and what exactly they can do in order to see the conflict end. And this is what, and I feel like we've done this. So I just need to grab a drink. So they asked why would you make Joseph Coney famous? Well, they want to make him known, which they say is really hard to do in a culture that has so many options and distractions and different stories. So the best way we knew how to do that was to take advantage of the fact that it was an election year and insert his name into a mock campaign and run for presidency. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. I've been inspired by Lauren Hill's quote, fantasy is what people want, but reality is what they need. It's a sense that people don't like to think about war or child trafficking, and it makes sense. I don't want to think about it either. But if you can do something to influence the end of violence or tragedy in the world, then you should do it. The problem with Joseph Coney is that nobody knows who he is. He is actually an idea. Michael Poffenberger of Resolved had while working in Washington DC talking about talking with con congressmen and senators. He said, You know Gaddafi is known in North Korea, but Joseph Coney is not known. I wish Joseph Coney was famous. And out of that came the whole campaign. So, what's the dream for Kony 2012? The ultimate dream for Kony 2012 is that it becomes a tipping point for conversation and that people will make a commitment to stop at nothing by making sure Kony is known in their circle of influence, whether it is their family, office or school. The dream will be for Kony to be captured, not killed, and brought to the inter inter International Criminal Court to face trial. The world would know of his crimes, and they would watch the trial play out as an in on an international level, seeing a man face justice who got away with abducting children, raping little girls, and mutilating people's faces for 26 years. Okay, I think that's fair enough, because honestly, you have to be quite mentally unstable to do that kind of thing, and you really shouldn't be here. I don't think you have a place in the world in the... Uh, yeah, I don't think you have a place in the world if you uh, if your intention of life is to cause harm to others um, for what enjoyment or even if it's like you know I don't even know why you do that. That's just fucked. Anyway, if you could say one thing to Joseph Coney, what would it be? He says, "I've thought about this for a long time. I'll just say thank you for creating such a clear example of what it means to be perverse and diabolical, and for forcing us as a generation, as a world, to deal with future individuals." who think they can get away with murder. He is the clearest example of someone or something that we all as humans can agree on is wrong and needs to be stopped. Okay, I quite strongly agree with the fact that um, murder, rape, abduction and all that is just wrong. Like, honestly, you have to be retarded and fucked in the head to do that shit. It's not right if, if your sole purpose in life is to murder people due to being mentally unstable or whatever, just seek help or something. <laughs> like, you're even going to watch this video, but seriously, get help. This is just fucked.
All right, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I'll put a link to the blog um, I've just been reading over in the description below. I'll also link the, um, there's a 30 minute or so video, I'll put that in the description as well. But yeah, just make sure to subscribe, like, just share this video so people know what's going on. Um, but yeah, have a see you guys later.